Well, I believed that. Hello and welcome to Night Chat. So, I'm gonna make this clear. If you're a victim of gang stalking, I believe that they wouldn't have actually came out of the shadows, the roaches, the cockroaches, unless they were so arrogant because they know something that we don't know. They obviously have a bigger plan and they're not worried about prosecutions. I'm talking about the people that run it at the very, very top. See, you could not have gang stalking programs this big unless it was being signed off by someone at the very top. President, perhaps? It could be. It might not be the president. It might be somebody um, beneath the president. A lot of people think it's Homeland Security. Now, if someone's a um, suspect in a crime, what you do is you bring your evidence forward and you prosecute them by law. That's why we have court laws, laws, court systems. It's not bad enough that they got the hybrids inside the courtrooms now that are throwing people away left and right. And by the way, that are not guilty. When I worked at Stella Bella's E3 Capital back in 1996, I used to go down to the courthouse uh, on lunch break just to watch the circus. There was one Asian judge in particular, uh, a woman, I'm going to call her a lady. Asian judge, she would always try to talk really clear English. I guess she felt ashamed because of her heritage. Like, Mr. Johnson, you understand not the case in front of you. She would send people away left and right. Okay, these, these judges, a lot of them are evil people, and a lot of them are hybrids. And they're sending innocent people away, and people that are, are guilty. Somebody might have stole a bag of chips because he was hungry, and then they give him 10 years in prison. A lot of people in prison don't belong there. You need to find a way to get them out and reversed, because if you have hybrids, and if you have uh, setups, uh, what would you call it? You know, the, the police officer puts a crack pipe inside your car, and the next thing you know, you're in prison. Now that we know there's this grand conspiracy where they're breaking the law, we just don't know how big this thing really is. The thing is, is once you find out one person broke the law, example, a police officer, now you have to look at every single case involving him and his duty. And that goes for a gang stalking network, if you have a network now, and if it includes doctors and dentists and judges and police officers and military, then you know that there has to be a lot of victims that were murdered, a lot of victims that were framed, blackmailed. Um, but I don't believe they would have been doing all this arrogant act, um, <clears throat> behavior unless they knew something that we didn't know. So, you need to know that there's different things you can do. First of all, you need to go to God. First of all, most important, Jesus Christ is your answer because he'll put a special protection around you and you'll be surprised at how quickly the tables turn. But, also know that God is definitely down for self-defense. You are allowed in the Bible to defend yourself. If you feel like you're being gang stalked and they might be coming to kill you in a week or two or in a month, you can't sit around and wait for them to kill you. And you can't go to the police because they're in on it. And the other police that are not in on it are not going to understand that these black programs are going on. So if you do decide to uh, defend yourself, and you're probably not that kind of person to really actually go out there and hurt anybody, but you also know that these are murderers, they are criminals, they are very, very, very dangerous. You just got to make sure that if you do decide to act, you can use it one way to reveal the atrocity they've been doing to everybody. You know, I would set up videos first and uh, blogging and prepare so when you get arrested, they're going to they're gonna try and say that you, you're guilty of hurting them or you murdered somebody. But you probably 
know this already, and you were acting in self-defense. Self-defense is not murder. It's not murder. Now, I'm not telling anyone to go out there and kill anybody. Let's get this right. What I am saying is that if your life is threatened, and if you're being gang stalked, you, you, you can't read their minds. You have to assume the worst because they're already violating the law. You have to assume they're coming to murder you. You have to assume it. And if they don't murder you today, they have a plan to murder you tomorrow. That there's no other logical answer, but they're coming to kill. I'm a victim of gang stalking for the last at least, at least 37 years, going on 38. They attempted to murder me last year. There was several attempts on my life. Now, had I shot somebody in the head, of course the police are in on it. They would have turned this around into a murder case. See? I am just saying that you have to think wise. It's going to be you or them. And again, I'm not telling anyone to murder anybody. i got to make that very clear. But this is very dangerous. Gang stalking is a fact. It's being financed by the feds. And we need to not be stupid and slip into a civil war. Some gang stalking victims are not going to be murdered. Some are. And you need, need to decide for yourself which category do you fit in. Now, we, they, they're trying to get a civil war boy. And they're hoping a few people shoot. Their own people are expendable. A few gang stalkers get killed. Now they're going to set up checkpoints and they're going to attack the den laws even more. And that's part of the, the cabal. Why the very top criminal at the very top is laughing his ass off in Europe. The guy that's spending trillions of dollars on these programs, by the way, which is taxpayers' money that's going across the seas into their pocket, and then they use our own money. But if we could prove some cases to the public, start prosecutions on some top feds, get some top whistleblowers, and then we give them a special, uh, uh, what's the word? where they don't face prosecution as long as they cooperate and they become whistleblowers. Now, if the truther community was really organized better, so right now it's the pioneer stage of it, and I don't think we have very much time, things are going to unfold really quick because we are in the last days. This isn't about nothing more than the delusion that the Illuminati have. As long as they think they're going to live forever and they're into this delusion they bought into, they're going to try their best to hurt us because they're, they're getting fed energy off the demonic destruction. But the reality is that all of us, including the Illuminati, all of us are only here to be analyzed by God, deciphered, and judged. That's all it's about. If you ever wonder what this whole thing's about, that's it. There's nothing more, nothing less. We are only here to be judged. God is making a list on who goes where. So he can move on to the way the order really goes, which is there's no such thing as death. Death doesn't exist. Cancer doesn't exist. That's the true order to God. Now, truthers can, can definitely beat this stuff if we were organized together and we would take on gang stalking first because once you can get make it safe where people can protest this uh, criminal government, then you'd be able to turn Homeland Security on the real crooks, which is a secret shadow government that runs America. If you use your imagination, you can come up with many creative ways to fight the gang stalking. 
you can have if you have friends, which is a good idea to go to church and make friends, good friends, people you can trust. You can go to a spy shop and with $200, $500, and I don't have that money, we'll get to work, go wash some dishes, scrub some toilets. You can buy your own drone. They have uh, sound equipment where you can actually put earphones on and point a stick and, and uh, listen to your enemies. I mean, there's all kinds of spy equipment. You can get hidden cameras. You could turn the tables on the gang stalkers. And if you can prove you're being gang stalked, I don't think it's admissible in court. But you can use it to wake the public up. See, we need a little more proof. We're, we're getting there. I found some pretty impressive videos recently. But we need a little more proof. For now, we can contact the public and keep it short and simple. And don't bring up the supernatural aspect because a lot of people are not ready for it. They want to kind of stay in the norm, which really is not the norm, but it's the norm that the devil is trying, trying to paint. You can, you can definitely turn this around on the gang stalkers. Listen to them go on the shitter. Turn it around on them. And always one less gang stalker makes the world a beautiful place. So I'm not, remember, I'm not telling no one to go out there and murder anybody. But I am saying that if you're a victim of gang stalking, you are being threatened. Your life is in danger. And you do need to consider self-defense whatever your own determination might be I'm not in your shoes I can't tell you how to live but the police department is not going to help you there's many cases online where people went to the police went to the feds and they're not helping which confirms that we need to revamp the system even good people need to come out we need to completely shut down the CIA and the FBI create a new system a new with a different name because that, that title is gone that title is tarnished and everybody good and bad needs to come out and then we investigate and find out who the criminals are I'm sure a lot of people will get away and some won't but good people become bad when they're able to turn a blind eye to criminal behavior. Because if it wasn't for the good people in the CIA and the good people in the FBI, these criminals would not be getting away with the atrocity they're getting away with. Why do we have human rights? What's the point of human rights? There's a point to it, right? Because you want to be safe, and I want to be safe. The gang soccer wants to be safe. I want to be safe. But they seem to think that they should be immune to danger. Though they're the ones that are creating danger. And I'm no tough guy. I just grew up in a different era. I'm almost 50 years old. I grew up in an era where, where I was in the ghetto, and I had like a lot. I was at all black school, and the black people at the time, you know, they used to bully me, and I had a fight. I had, I had a swing on people, and I got respect. I got my ass kicked, but I got respect, and then I started kicking ass. And I learned that if someone messes with you, you don't drop it. You take care of them. You take care of them no matter what. You wait up in a tree with a stick and smack them in their head. If that don't work, you come back with a knife. If that don't work, you come back with a gun. If someone hurts you, you take care of them. And that's where I grew up at. You do what you got to do. Does it make you tough? You kind of lose your mind. You kind of have to blank your mind out. But because you're in the right, because you got the moral high ground. If me and Johnny are sitting by each other and I turn around and smack him, or punch him, or shank him, guess what? I lost the moral high ground. I started it. 
He got some moral high ground. If he turns around and kills me, I deserve it. I deserve it. That's how it works. If you're a victim of gang stalking, we need to think smart. We don't want to jump into a civil war, get antsy and get in a gunfight. They want to take the guns away. They want to set checkpoints up as part of their plan. So instead, you use your other power, which is your mouth, make some videos. The tongue is more powerful than the sword. Get flyers out there, go door to door, set up an online website, put items on there for sale, put some conspiracies up, talk about the gang stalking, which is the new police. Tell the public that many people have died trying to protect the public from what's coming, from a corrupt government. Tell the public that you're the good guy. Let the public know that danger is coming, and if they don't act now, they're going to live to see this danger take America over within the next coming years. I mean, if you knew a man was going to come in your house tonight and shoot you, would you kill that man to defend yourself? The world has been hijacked by reptilian hybrids. Now, on one hand, that makes it hard to get to the public and let them know what's going on. On the other hand, they got to walk straight by not violating any laws that are obvious or the public will be outraged. So gang stalking, I think out of all the things they're doing, creates an immediate threat, which would definitely wake up the sheeple when they realize that their little kids are being watched in their bedrooms, when they realize that danger might be coming through their windows to harm them and their kids, when they realize, when they realize that weapons are being used on them to give them cancer, when they realize the police and the military and the feds and the CIA are the ones that are doing it. There's really no way to stop this if we don't get criminal cases going and we really need to tackle the judges because the judges are in cahoots. A lot, a lot of the judges are, 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 and that's why they're so arrogant, the criminals, because they know that the judges are also in on this. And again, not all the judges, but there is a dark shadow government that's in unison. But it doesn't mean that they're unstoppable. And they're going to have their one world order, yeah. You can't stop the whole program because it's prophesied it's going to come out. But you can knock dents in it. You can slow it down. You can make a few of the arrogant creeps pay for what they did and give them a big surprise. And God isn't afraid to strike either. Always remember that. You have God on your side. You're doing well. You might not see things that he's doing. God might grab a general and throw him off a cliff when no one's watching. God might give them a heart attack without a heart attack weapon. God is not afraid to, to act. He's done it many times in the Bible before. And the reason why he's sitting back right now is because America has turned their back on him. That's why he's not doing anything. That's why God's opening. You guys want to turn your back on me? Fine. Let's see what you got. And then the hedge of protection is removed. And the devil knows it. And that's why he's done all the things he's been doing. Everything you see from the music industry, uh, crisscrossing into a, a, a 
soft porn industry and everything you see is to degrade us, is to destroy our morals so the devil can take away our shield of protection which is the Holy Spirit allowing us to be vulnerable then the devil can get his hands on us and do what he wants the only way is for massive amount of people in America to repent that would slow it down not the whole nation but if you can get a big group of people to repent I'm sure God will find favor on us and help us by protecting us and by guiding us and by hurting a lot of our enemies we don't really want to hurt anybody because that's not the spirit of God you really want them to be okay but if they're going to hurt people, if they're a danger, if they're a threat then you ask God to either change them or to destroy them that's it we're only here to be judged, that's the whole reason we're here we're being, God's just like this Mm, I see. I see. Okay. Now I know what you're about. That's it. That's what the Bible says. It's, that's all he's doing is analyzing everything. And just sizing you up. And then there's no way to escape death. All of us have to die. All of us have to be in front of God on our knees. And it's going to be sevenfold the pain. And I don't know if you really understand what I'm saying. You're going to say, oh, wait, wait, what is this? Oh, this isn't feeling good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. And that's what's going to happen if you don't stop doing what you're doing. Thanks for watching. Get your heart right with God. Jesus Christ is God. God bless all of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>